YouTube. Got something to say. I got something to get off my chest. I have to. Because for one, I think it's an illness. And I might, it might be something wrong with me. This, maybe this is the reason I feel this way. I don't fucking know. I know there's a such thing as claustrophobic. But this is not claustrophobia, people. Claustrophobia is a fear of being in enclosed areas. My issue is I can't stand people being right up on me. I can't stand going somewhere and someone has to be right there where I'm going. And I don't mean I go to a grocery store and there's people there. What I mean is I pull up and then I turn into a parking space and someone's trying to get there too. Or someone is pulling up behind me while I'm trying to back out of a fucking parking space. That seems to be happening a lot lately. I swear to God, this shit's not no coincidence, man. We are starting to be overpopulated. Think about it. You ever been in a grocery store and you went and looked at some asparagus or something like that? As soon as you get to the asparagus and reach to go look at it, look at the price, somebody's reaching up there for the same fucking shit, like... At the same time that you are And you're like As big as this fucking grocery store You mean to tell me Somebody was thinking about asparagus At the same exact time as I was Fuck no Another thing that bothers me When I'm in the grocery store Is when I'm already at a product Looking at it And somebody walks up And stand right next to me Looking at the same product Man it's, yeah, you got a fucking list And I know this ain't the next thing on your fucking list Go somewhere else And another thing that bothers me And this is why This is where I really think I have an issue And I think I might be crazy or something I don't know But you ever trying to get home And you in one lane Driving, minding your business And there's a car ahead of you in the right lane Or the other lane, wherever lane And they pull right in front of you And start going slow Okay. Now, for some unknown reason you like, fuck it, I'm going to get another lane And yeah, they going slow That motherfucker get in the same lane, okay Now, you you want me to beat your motherfucking ass Then the motherfucker end up going the exact same way that you're going You going home, you like, there's no fucking way in hell This motherfucker's going the same exact way I'm going And then the crazy thing is, you turn down your street and this motherfucker turns into a driveway two houses down from me. I'm like, what in the world is going on? I think it's a fucking conspiracy. I know this doesn't happen to everybody. You know, you might be at home or you might be at your desk chilling and you watching a, a video. And you've been trying to watch this video, but you keep getting interrupted. For some reason... You keep getting the four minutes and 25 seconds into the video and someone want to come and hold a fucking conversation with you. Why? The fuck is your problem? You press play, you start watching from 356. You get back to 420, 424. Here comes somebody. Hey, Blake, got a question. Now you're like, man, yeah, somebody just playing a prank on me. So you start watching it again, and guess what happens? You get the 427, you're like, yes. Hey, Blake. You know what? I had enough of this shit. For real. Now, y'all know I'm, a, I'm an advocate of uh, great customer service. Yeah, I know. I switched to customer service. Fuck it. I, 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 I'm, I work in customer service. And everything we do in life, if you own a business, it has something to do with some type of fucking customer service. Shit. Do we have to teach you motherfuckers manners? So I go to McDonald's and I, I order me a breakfast sandwich, some hash browns. And, and maybe, uh, yeah, strawberry fancy soda. Yeah, I know. It was breakfast and I'm ordering a soda. Who gives a shit? Anyway, so I look at the order and all I see was the strawberry, whatever it was, pop up on the screen. Okay, so I go to the first one and I pay. I go to the second one and I get my food. This motherfucker gave me my food and walks off. I'm saying like she supposed to give me my drink first, but I wait for her to come back. So she just working, 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 and not paying me no attention. I'm just sitting there, but like. so she she eventually come back to the damn window like, are you waiting on something, sir? I said, yeah, my strawberry fancy. She's like, well, let me see your receipt. 
So I get a motherfucker my receipt. Like, okay, what the fuck does it matter? Okay, she got a receipt. Oh, you you didn't she didn't charge you for no strawberry uh phantom. Well, some strawberry prop on the goddamn screen. Oh, that was strawberry jelly. Who the fuck ordered strawberry jelly at the board? Man, y'all are some fucking idiots. I can't stand people. <laughs> fuck it. Now, Sprint, this one is for you, motherfucker. Well, when you are promoting some type of promotion uh, with a great sale, get four fucking phones for a hundred dollars or whatever the shit is. I don't give a fuck what it is. What I'm saying is. Quit having these hidden fucking fees, man. So when we get our phone and we get that next bill, everybody know about that next bill. You know, you expecting your bill to be a certain price, and and that's not the fucking case. Now we all know that next bill is gonna be high. We know that, okay? So we gonna find a way to lower that bitch because we just we we very conservative. You know, we not paying that motherfucking activation. Fee. Fuck that activation, fee, bitch. But that next bill. Is a fucking problem. So I, you know, I ordered my wife a new phone. You know, got her a little Note Nine. Or, yeah, the Note Nine is what it is. Yeah, and you know, I asked the lady like, "Look, how much more is my bill gonna be a month?" So she told me the price or whatever the case may be. I get my bill, and that damn show sure was not the case. I asked her, okay, you said this, this is what happened. You said this, this, and these people get on the phone, they they tell you something that the first person who sold you the fucking phone never fucking told you. So you know what? I'm going to give your ass hell until you give me my money back. But I'm going to end this shit on a cool note, you know what I'm saying? On the real, Yellow Beasley, Mo3, man, y'all kill that beef shit, man. Y'all two of the hottest niggas out of Dallas, Texas, man. And y'all dudes are making big noise. Mo3, you know I fuck with you. Yellow Beasley, I fuck with you just because you're yellow. Like me. Yellow Beasley, man. Yo.